Up next, Frank, a guy you know all too well, and that's Robbie Anderson of the New York Jets. He was a guy you were not all in on coming into this season. You didn't love it. You liked Quincy and Nunwa more, and you were right for most of the year. But over the last couple of weeks, since Sam Darnold regained that starting job for the Jets, Robbie Anderson has been much improved. They've well, maybe Sam Darnold's really been much improved. He's, he's felt more comfortable throwing the ball down the field to Anderson. Are you putting Anderson in your lineup this weekend? Yeah, I absolutely am. I think he's in play as a low-end wide receiver, too. And while that might be aggressive, look at what he's done over the past two weeks. Scoring a touchdown in each of those games, he's had at least 76 receiving yards in each of those games, Greg. What Sam Darnold is doing right now is he's really just letting it fly. He's talked about it in interviews like... He's he's just he's just letting it rip. He's throwing it down the field. Um, and, and basically, if you watch the Jets games, uh, they don't have a great offensive line. But once Sam Darnold gets outside the pocket, which he could do because he has mobility, he's actually doing this little Russell Wilson thing, which gets me excited as a Jets fan, which he's rolling out, but he's keeping his eyes down the field. And on the flip side with that, Robbie Anderson... Um, he, he's just he's getting open, and he's clearly the apple of Sam Darnold's eye right now. Uh, over the last three weeks specifically, 27% of the target share, 48% of the air yards. That's nearly 50%. 50% of the yards being thrown down the field are going Robbie Anderson's way. He has also five red zone targets during that span, so he's being targeted down the field. He's also being targeted in the red zone. We saw that two weeks ago against the Buffalo Bills, against very talented cornerback Tredavious White in the red zone where Sam Darnold, once again, making plays with his legs, gets outside the pocket. And who's he looking for? Robbie Anderson. Uh, and, and just the matchup, too. This is just a cherry on top going up against the Packers. They've been exposed by wide receivers all season long. I think all things equal here, Robbie Anderson is a legitimate low-end wide receiver, too, heading into Week 16. Welcome to the Fantasy Football Championship. Robbie Anderson deserves to be in the Fantasy Football Championship, as do the owners that put him in there. He may be the fa or my favorite guy on this list, the one I'm most comfortable starting this weekend. That connection is real. Sam Darnold has found that stroke. I like Robbie Anderson a lot this weekend.